Hi right, guys, just another video, and uh, yes, it's finally complete now. You have no idea how much hassle to get this slide slip thing for this diorama stain. And it looks perfect, but the problem is I can't put it on my shelf because I got too many figures on this front shelf. Looks really cool though, but this is how it's supposed to look like. Hold on a second. Give me a second. a bit too much shadow here so uh, I'm very disappointed with that but uh, that's how it's supposed to look like so yeah but it looks kind of stupid like that look look at that guys you know I can't put it like that but anyway um, it's finally uh, complete um, so yeah, I'm really happy now. So yeah. Alright guys, I better go now. Stay tuned for my Terminator NECA police station assault figure. Stay tuned for series 2 Nightmare Elm Street figures. The Dream Warriors and the Dream Master. And what else? Um, I'll probably get a pre-release of Ultimate Cat 3 for my shop. So uh... I'm going to try to get pre release. Right, if I don't, I'll have to wait next week. Because next week is the deadline, and it's coming out next week. So I'm going to try my best to get a pre release, to get an early copy as possible for my shop. Yeah, because I buy it from all my games from the warehouse. So, uh, you know, I get it as soon as possible. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. And I'm being really bored lately. And I clocked on, uh, I clocked on Sonic Generations. Um, that game's pretty good, but it's really short. You know, it, clocked, it, it took me like four days to clock it. Four days to clock it, and uh, you know, I got the game really early. And uh, there's just too many bugs in that game. And uh, you know, because I'm a huge fan of Sonic, you know, I can't resist getting a, a Sonic game. And now lately, Sonic games have been shitty lately. You know. And you know that in the past, you know, you know, Sega Mega Drive and stuff, you know, Sega Genesis, whatever. Those days were hard as hell. You know, I tried my best to clock it. My friends clocked it though. You know, they're really good at it. You know, clocking the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis, whatever. Yeah, it's a mouthful. So, uh, you know, th these days now, games are more easy to clock now. You don't have to think. You just do it. You know, it's like a, it's like a chore. You know, when you're playing uh, video games now, you know, when you're playing games and, uh, you know, you clock as p the best possible time you can, you know. And obviously you got other things to do, you know. That's what game I'm about. I'm a hardcore gamer. I play games every day. That's my job, you know. And, uh, and my other thing, you know, collecting figures and, you know, getting DVDs and Blu-rays and watching movies. You know the weekends, you know, and uh, that's what I do. You know, and I got a lot of my hobbies as well, but I'm not gonna tell on YouTube. <laughs> you know, it's personal stuff, you know. So, but I show my private collection, my figures so to you guys. You know, I'm not hiding from you know my collection from from the from the world, but I'm showing to you guys personally because uh, you know it's a collector's thing, isn't it? So, you know, but I love my games, I love my f collection, my figures, statues, um, my gaming, no, my DVDs and Blu-rays and films, you know, you know what I like, guys, but, but I got other stuff that I like, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it, I think I'm going overboard again, but yeah, so stay tuned for more, I'll be back soon, so stay through the review for the other one, <sighs> so yeah, okay, peace. More to come and I'll be back soon. Okay? Peace.